Hi, I'm Jessica Rue, and I'm the illustrator of A Natural History of Fairies. This book was written by Emily Hawkins, and it tells about all different kinds of fairies, their habitats and where they live, their clothing, their behaviors, and even their secret language. So today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a fairy, and all we need to get started is paper and a pencil. So the fairy I'm gonna show you how to draw today is this fairy here. She is the Candlemas Bell Fairy. They live in damp European woodlands, often in a hollowed out tree stump. They have sheer wings made of a very strong, flexible material that appears to have thermal properties. That means it can keep them warm. And so they don't hibernate, but in the freezing weather, they wrap their wings around themselves to make a warm cocoon. And they're often seen around these flowers, and those are called snowdrop flowers. And we see them spring up towards the end of winter, and they're an early sign of spring. So we're going to draw her today and surround her with some of these flowers. So let's get started. I have my piece of paper here in front of me and my pencil here, and we're going to get drawing right now. So I like to start drawing with the ear. I know a lot of artists prefer to draw the eyes first, but I kind of like to do the ear. And fairies have sharp, pointy ears. So let's draw that in first. And then let's kind of draw in a bit of the hairline. Give her curly hair. You could give her any kind of hair you want. And then we're gonna draw in a bit of the face shape. Sort of an ovalish type face and a little bit of a neck here and let's draw in the rest of the hair now all right so we have a little bit of a head drawn now, and I think we can start adding in some of the facial features. Let's do the eyebrows. And the eyes. can add in a little nose. And now let's give her a smiling mouth. Some lips. She's kind of got a sly smile there, like she knows that you've spotted her in the woods. And we're gonna draw her in this like three quarter kind of view where she's kind of turning away from us. So we're gonna put her arm right here below her face. So let's start with the sleeve of her outfit. And when I was picking out what clothes I thought the fairies would wear, I imagined that they would wear clothing sort of inspired by the flowers around them. So this sort of looks like a snowdrop flower sleeve. And now her arm is crooked and kind of draped over her skirt. So let's put a bend in her arm. You can kind of see maybe just a few of her fingers poking out from around the side. I think that looks pretty good. And now the next step is to draw the fairy's wings. So we talked about how the Candlemas Bell Fairy has these strong sheer wings. And so these kind of remind me of cicada wings. So we're gonna draw them pretty big so that they can wrap around her to keep her warm. The 
this lower wing is a little bit smaller. And then from this angle, I'd imagine that you could see her other wing coming out a bit behind like that. And now you can make any kind of pattern you want on the fairy's wings, but I like this one to look similar to a cicada wing, so I'm gonna keep that in mind when I draw it. So let's do this little top band. And then their wings kind of have these elongated U shapes. We'll do the same on the other wing. And the bottom wing as well. So I kind of want to add some definition to these wings because I think they kind of all blend together. So I'm going to lightly draw this line here so that you can see the wing is on top of this one and lightly go over this one here and the same on the back wing. And that's just a little bit of shading to help give us more definition in this piece. So let's draw her waist here. And there's her shirt. And let's do her skirt next. I imagine her skirt would be made from the petals of the snowdrop flowers. She kind of has a big puffy skirt. And the next step is drawing her legs. So she's sort of walking away from us. So let's keep that in mind when we draw them. Now I'm not gonna draw her feet yet, just her legs. So we can kind of get a sense of how she's moving in this world. And I think for shoes, I'm gonna give her little snow booties to keep her feet warm. I'm gonna draw the snow around her feet first. And there we have our finished fairy. So let's add some of the snowdrop flowers in around her to kind of give her a sense of an environment. So snowdrop flowers are kind of these three long ovals kind of stuck together. And let's draw the stalk of the plant that it comes from. They're kind of curved like this. And 
Let's give it some leaves to kind of help frame the piece. Let's add a snowdrop on this side as well. These are one of my favorite kinds of flowers. They're a sign that winter is over and spring is getting ready to get started, which is one of my favorite seasons. I love getting to draw flowers. And there we go. There's our finished Candlemas Bell Fairy. And now let's always remember to sign our artwork with our name. I just sign with my last name, Rue. And you can add more details. You can color them in. You can do any color that you want and have a lot of fun with it and really enjoy the process of drawing. It can be difficult to sometimes make these flowing shapes, but the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun drawing fairies with you. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have fun with it, get really creative, and you can make any kind of fairy you want. So thanks again and bye.